Hey, Chase here, talking to you today about the Sitka Arrowhead WWP pant. Now, you may have seen the video we did on the WWP jacket. This is the pant to complete that ensemble. So, let's get into it. So, these pants are made of a Gore-Tex GTX nylon rip stop with DWR coating. So, they are extremely waterproof. These are your hurricane pants. Now, these are only a hard shell or a final barrier layer. They're an environmental barrier layer. So they're not really gonna help with warmth. I have worn these over just like, you know, your normal everyday kind of jeans. And it certainly works. I actually did get pretty warm, but if you're operating in a generally uh, and genuinely cold, wet environment, you're gonna wanna go ahead and include some base layers, some mid layers for warming, that kind of stuff. Because while you certainly can work in these pants all day long and they're gonna hold up great and they got a good level of functionality, if you're thinking you're just gonna throw these on real quick as like pants by themselves, you're gonna be pretty chilly if it's not already warm outside. So, like I said, these are a ripstop nylon made by Gore-Tex and they are extremely robust. These pants will roll up pretty small, but if you fold them, you can tell there's just, there's some stiffness there. These things are thick and they are made to last. They also have a price that is certainly commensurate with the level of quality that goes into the design and production, but we'll get into that later. So let's start up at the top of the pants. So we do have a nice adjustable waist with a belt going all the way through. Now you can remove this belt if you want to. I would not recommend it, however, because it's gonna be a real pain to try to get back through these single loops and push all the way back around. It is just a simple hook and loop closure. It goes through, but obviously once it's on the body, that's gonna stay there. You got lots of adjustment that you can, you can tuck back through this channel to keep this from dangling down in your way. It also comes with the classic sort of X harness um, suspender system there, which again, have the exact same attachment system. So if you're not into these things, comes right off. You don't need them, but if you do need them, put them back on. Personally, for this kind of uh, pant, I'm a big fan of suspenders because you never know uh, how you're gonna try to like heat them up otherwise. So typically, you're gonna be having your normal pants, maybe with uh, some, some stuff in them in the pockets, all that kind of jazz, your first line gear, if you will, uh, and you got your belt there. And so you're not typically gonna run a belt here, and in fact, these don't even have belt loops. So suspenders, pretty good idea. They have a, a very simple snap closure, and as you'll find with all the Sitka Arrowhead stuff, the zipper is fantastic. It's got its uh, closure here with rubber to keep the pull tab nice and secure. Easy one hand operation. And of course, this is a sealed uh, zipper on all these zippers here on the pants are completely sealed so that the pockets that we get into next are always gonna stay waterproof. So let's dig into the pockets. Okay, so WWP pant pockets. Technically, it only has two pockets, although I'm gonna go over the side zip as a pocket because it, uh, well, it opens the whole pants up. So let's get into the front cargo pockets first. Big fan of where they put these pockets because if you're wearing uh, maybe a really heavy coat or plate carrier, chest rig, mission critical gear, something like that, you've got a war belt on, all these things tend to get in the way of the classic side pockets, cargo pockets. If you've got a holster on especially, you're not probably gonna be able to get into side cargo pockets. So front pockets on outerwear, hard use pants, big fan. That is exactly what this has. It has a huge insulated sealed zipper front cargo pocket. You can see here that the fabric is articulated so that it can expand if you've got some oversized items in there. So you're gonna be able to put, uh, I mean, you could put most of a Thanksgiving dinner in there if you wanted to. Uh, Full-size tablets, maps, you could store, I don't know. You could put a lot in there, small child. Whatever you need to carry, it's gonna go in those pockets. It is double reinforced on the inside of the pant here. So one that's gonna reduce chafing on you for uh, harder items that may be in your pockets. And it's going to reduce the time in which the have something wear through the material. You know, say like a lot of times you'll see knives to tear up the corner of the pants where you keep them, something like that. If you're keeping hard, sharp objects in here, these pants are gonna hold up for a long time. Now, let's move on to those side zippers I mentioned earlier. So this is a 7 8 zip leg. That means it can open up for all the ventilation. Now, if you're gonna put these on, like maybe you've got some big boots on already, it was not raining, now it is raining, you wanna stay dry. What I would recommend is going 
through the bottom here, and you've got this snap closure. Open that up, and then go ahead, zip it all the way up. Pants opens up, and you can just stick your boot straight through. You're not gonna have any issues getting that on, so you don't get stuck in your pants like a small child because no one looks cool doing that. However, if you're already wearing these and it's just getting hot, you're getting sweaty, you can go ahead and do that zip all the way down as far as you'd like, get that good ventilation, access maybe internal pockets, whatever the case may be, whatever you need this zip insulation or zip uh, opening for, well, that's what that is there for. Finally, let's move on to perhaps one of the most interesting features of the pants and that is the bottom cuff. So, the hem or instep, if you will, is reinforced with Teleborg Hank 10 ounce high abrasion neoprene Kevlar. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that this is almost cut resistant. I'm not saying it is actually cut resistant, but it's close. When you feel this, it, it almost feels like it's a flexible chalkboard. This thing is tacky, it's grippy, and uh, as you can see, we've worn this for a while now, and you're getting those sort of white wear marks from where uh, you know you stepped on it, you've gotten up against all kinds of whatever it was we were getting into at the time. And it has, I mean, you, you can tell it's been worn, but it's, this isn't going anywhere. This is really one of the most innovative parts of the, of the entire pant. Probably my favorite part, looks kind of cool, but it also is super functional. If you guys have worn over pants or snowboard pants, insulated pants, something like that, they almost always start dying here first because inevitably stuff gets wet and snow sticks to it and mud sticks to it and it starts dragging down. Typically, again, because these are worn over another pair of pants where your primary belt retainer system is, and so they're going to see sagging, and this just gets eaten apart by your boots. Not the case here. So again, like I said before, not the cheapest pants in the market by far, but the design and the materials that went into this are impressive. A note on the design and materials. This comes in black, the lead color that you see here, and multicam, and the multicam actually has an NIR compliant uh, coating which makes this uh, meet standards for near infrared spectrum reflectivity for the military. So if that's part of your job, something you're concerned about, the multicam is going to have that as well. Overall, these pants are fantastic. They're amazing. If they're issued, they actually have a tag inside so you can write your name and label them. So if uh, everyone's got the same color, the same pant, no one gets confused because no one wants to be fighting over whose pants are whom while you're trying to look cool and put all your gear on. That's just untoward. Don't do that. What you should do is check these pants out on US Elite Gear or us-elitegear.com. If you're gonna go to the website, check out their social media, see all the cool stuff they have, see the solutions they provide for you, the end user, and how they can help you out because they got a lot of awesome gear. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, train hard, live free. See you next time.